Welcome to Fast Training Week. And remember that the topic this week is Keto Calm. Let's all make some ketones so we can calm our brain and calm our body. And remember that if you need support, we have a free group. The Resetter Collaborative is on Facebook. Just put Resetter Collaborative in your comments and we'll send you a link. If you need guided support, join us in our Reset Academy. We have an incredible community there, an incredible uh, resource of guides that can help you through this week. I'm over there in the Academy. And if you want all of this written out, all the different fasts, make sure that you put companion guide in the comments and we'll send you a link. The last thing I'm gonna tell you is make sure the point of this week is to be calm. So we love fasting to calm us. We love the ketogenic diet to calm us. There are some other strategies we can use like breathing. So check out Wim Hof breathing, check out Soma breathing. We have links on the companion guide. But as always, this is a powerful week for us to all be making ketones. Excited to be joining you in this process. If you love this information, send it out into the world. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Welcome. We are a community of people that are tapping into the miracle that our body was designed to be. Welcome. Okay, day two of your fast training week. And remember that this theme of this fast training week is keto calm. So go back and watch the other two videos I did. I did an overview of this fast training week. And then yesterday on the day one video, I talked about what ketones actually are and how do you get your body to make these ketones. So make sure you watch that video. Today I wanna to talk about, okay, now you got your body to make ketones. What do ketones actually do inside your body once you've got that liver producing ketones? And I think one of the greatest reasons for all of us to get into, adopt a ketogenic lifestyle, to start to make more ketones, is the power that ketones have on your brain. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through a series of chemical reactions that happen in our body when we are have poor living, so poor lifestyle, wrong foods, sedentary life, not enough sleep, a lot of toxins. I'm gonna show you what happens to the brain in that kind of living, and I'll show you how ketones actually start to undo the damage that a toxic modern life uh, is creating on the brain. Creating ketones is a beautiful way to unwind all those years that you were struggling with your health. You can actually start to repair your brain by getting your brain to make more ketones or getting your liver to make more ketones. So here's how it works, okay? With poor living, inflammatory foods, sedentary life, stress, toxins, lack of sleep, you create something called a reactive oxygen species. It is a chemical reaction that starts to damage DNA. It starts to create inflammation around the brain and it brings down your antioxidant uh, production. You do not want this. This is how you accelerate the aging of your body, but also the accelerate the aging of your brain. Now, let's say you're doing fast training week with me and all of a sudden you start to create ketones. What ketones do is they start to turn off this reactive oxygen species from happening and moving this, this reaction will go into the brain and start to create a lot of damage, a lot of long-term damage. So the first thing that ketones will do is they, it's like a switch. It turns that reaction off. So now you don't have inflammation in the brain, now you don't have DNA damage, and now you're not utilizing or reducing the amount of antioxidants that your brain uh, is producing. So that's an awesome first start. Second thing that ketones will do, when you have stress coming in from the outside, so like your brain is perceiving stress, you have poor living, it's creating stress, you get an excitatory response in your brain called glutamate. And glutamate will start to create electrical currents that go into the mid midbrain and put you in high stress, high alert response. You know that you've got this glutamate excitatory response when all it takes is something really little, like some little uh, stressor, and your brain starts to flip out. You know when you're really edgy, you know when you can't relax your body, when you can't turn your mind off. Those are all signs that you've got this glutamate excitatory response happening. 
Now what's really cool about ketones is as you start to make ketones, ketones will produce something called GABA. And the more GABA you have in your body, GABA works by turning off glutamate. So you literally turn this excitatory response off and you immediately calm your brain. This is why we did Keto Calm this week, because with all the anxiety that's going on in the world, how you can start to calm that brain down without having to have the external situations be perfect is by making more GABA. And you make more GABA by getting yourself into ketosis. So now the brain is calm, the inflammation is starting to come down, and your, your brain is starting to become more mentally alert. Now, the last thing I want to point out is that there is a part of your brain called your hippocampus. Your hippocampus is the place that determines mood and memory. This is the place where Alzheimer's starts. This is the place where dementia starts. So the hippocampus, we want this to be healthy. One interesting part about the hippocampus, by the way, is that it is connected to the olfactory nerve. The olfactory nerve is smell. So one of the signs, early signs of Alzheimer's is that people are unable to smell. And so it is a sign that that part of the hippocampus is starting to shut down. Well, what the challenge with the hippocampus is, and this has been the challenge with Alzheimer's in general, is that it is protected by a blood-brain barrier. And that blood-brain barrier, it is very difficult to get, to get drugs in past the blood-brain barrier. This is why we don't have a drug for Alzheimer's. But you know what will pass that blood-brain barrier and get into the hippocampus? Ketones. So you can start to improve your mood, you can start to repair the hippocampus, you can start to increase your memory, all by increasing ketones so that they can cross into the hippocampus and help to repair any damage that might be in there. There is a lot of stuff going on in the brain when you make ketones, and it was such a huge part of why I wanted this to be the theme for this week, because we love ketones as a sign that we are burning fat, don't we? Like, we love that. But what I want you to know is you're burning fat, and you're repairing your brain, and you're improving your mood. How flipping cool is that? So that is why we're doing Keto Calm. I want to make sure you guys are using the Keto Mojo meter so that you are, we have some idea as to whether you're getting these ketones or not. You are looking for 0.5 or greater on your ketone reader to show up that it's 0.5 or greater. That's a sign that this repair mechanism is happening. So day two, let's calm our brain by making more ketones.